Well, image optimization is important primarily because 60% of all the resources on a page, and we know these statistics by uh, looking at the Internet Archive, for example, the HTTP Archive, and we get to see that you know, most of the resources that you know, pages are composed of are um, images, and they're the largest resources. So you know, this, real, uh, th this represents the most fertile ground for improving web page performance. And image processing, first of all, is a field that changes and improves over time. And you know, in the last 10 years, has improved immensely. Um, but also, images can be processed by the content provider at different levels. And there's a lot of time that goes into that. So often, automated tools, which you know, can take the time that maybe a, a content developer didn't and look through to minimize and optimize the Con the, the size of the images, you know, this is a great automatic technique where it might take hours and hours for a content developer to go through a, a site and optimize every image for every browser. An automated tool can do it dynamically and very quickly. So I think it's important that, you know, images are most prevalent and they're, it's hard to keep up with everything. Imagine a content management system. Well, there's end users that are adding images they might not process those images optimally. How do you, you know, after the fact, make sure that they're all created to the right size for each browser? Well, a WPO system can do that automatically on the fly where there might have not even been an opportunity for a developer do it, to do it. So images represent the greenest field and the best way that we can improve a web page performance uh, and that's where you know a lot of the tools really focus because we want to take advantage of that opportunity.